This is the latest release from Plastic Soldier Company and a box I have been waiting for for quite some time. Um, I have already have the infantry box set uh, and I was really missing some Panzerfaust and Shreks uh, for the teams, um, for my Flames of War army. So I, I was actually a little bit disappointed with the, uh, the, the infantry box set, but this supplement to to the figures are really really good uh, and all the weapons uh, needed, all the heavy weapons needed are in this box set. Um, the box contains 60 figures and 12 models, the, bottle, the box says and I must say I'm really 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 happy this product has finally come out. On the back of the box you can see uh, a picture of one of the heavy MGs. Um, the pack contains four tripod mounted MG42s, four 80mm mortars, four 120mm mortars, mortars, eight Panzerfaust and eight Panzerstrecks. Uh, four of the Panzerstrecks and four of the Panzerfaust are moving and the, the other four are shooting. The box also contains a little guide uh, from Vallejo uh, colors, uh, so you can see which color you are supposed to use. Unlike the previous releases from Plastic Soldier Company, this set only comes with four sprues. They are all identical and it is the same units on all of them. Um, these soldiers require a bit of uh, assembly and most or a lot of the soldiers comes in two or three parts. Um, I know a lot of people have a bit of concern about this because they fear that the lines, the glue lines will be visible on the finished product. Um, my experience with the previous box set is they will not be uh, visible if you glue them correctly and have a bit of patience. I like the fact that it is not just one piece figures uh, because this allows for a lot more details on the figures. This allows for uh, some holes and gaps between arms and weapons and stuff like that. That's simply not possible to do uh, with one piece soldiers. So I really like this approach to making uh, these small miniatures. The box comes with this small and very easy to follow instruction sheet and the figures really shouldn't give you any problems, they are very straightforward. Here's a close up picture of the sprues. You can see here the figures in separate parts, the 80mm mortar, um, this is for the 120mm I think. Loaders and Gunners, Panzerfaust and Panzerstrex, Heavy MG, Bell Feeder, Commander, one little detail I really like is this little ammunition box. I really like the details inside the box and uh, I think they will look very nice when painted up. I have assembled one of the sprues uh, because I wanted you guys to have a look at the assembled models. I gotta say these guys are definitely more complicated than the other infantry sprues. I definitely feel that the instruction sheet could have been a lot better. Uh, a lot of the pieces were unclear and some guesswork has to be uh, applied to fitting these figures. Not all the figures are in the instruction sheet. Uh, they are not the most complicated, but still, uh, I think that's a mistake. Uh, but they are assembled and um, let's take a close look at them. First guys up is the heavy MG team. Um, I'm really pleased with how it looks. Uh, the MG42 looks really really good um, and has a lot of details. The bell feeder 2 uh, and the ammunition box 2 looks really good. The pointy guy, uh, the commander of the team, 
Uh, I probably won't use it uh, on these bases, uh, but um, he's a nice figure and he can always be used in, in some other formation. Next are the two uh, Panzerfaust. No, really, simply except for the standing guy, he, he the Panzerfaust has to be put in his hand. Um, yeah, we have one of the Panzer Shreks and the uh, ammunition guy. He has the shooting Panzer Shrek and the ammunition box and the loader. The 80mm mortar with a three man crew. And here we have the 120mm mortar again with crew. I haven't removed any of the mold lines, uh, and they are a bit of a problem. Uh, they are. They are there and you have to deal with them because they be, will be very visible uh, when painted up if you don't do anything to them. Um, I think some of the attachment points are not very wisely chosen because they are sitting on details such as shoulder pads and stuff like that. And uh, I think they could have managed that a bit, bit better. but. Overall, I really gotta say, I think this uh, team here looks very nice.